first, a new sewer rate is coming to the city of Peoria. It's the first step in helping city leaders pay for its $109 million combined sewage overflow project. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Well. And I'm Kimberly Parker. Our Durante Matthews is live in studio to tell us more about the new rate and how council members want to implement it without overwhelming taxpayers. Durante. Well, Kimberly Mark, after a two month deferral tonight, council members voted nine to one, approving a plan to establish a combined sewer overflow rate expected to go into effect in 2023. Now, this is in response to the consent decree the city approved back in December with the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency. City Manager Patrick Urich says the city already has two other sewer bills and they're looking to lower the rehabilitation rate to decrease the financial impact on taxpayers. Urich also says for the first four years up until 2026, the CSO and rehabilitation rate would remain the same. But he says the lateral sewer rate would grow by about $2 a year starting next year. Councilmember Dennis Steer, Steer was the sole no vote against the proposal concerned about the way it's being funded. Also tonight, the council approved a plan to establish a land bank. They say this is the first step in addressing issues with vacant and abandoned properties, hoping to repurpose them for productive uses. Kimberly.